Hi everyone, I'm Cubastic and welcome to my channel. And today I have on my desk one really unusual puzzle. You may have seen it before and now it's time to solve this fish puzzle. I want to enjoy once again and I want you to enjoy the appearance of this package because it looks, I'll tell you right now, very expensive and very promising. But uh, is uh, this puzzle as complex as I would like it to be? I don't know, but uh, let's read what we have here. This is a fish puzzle, Einstein's Everyone is a Genius. That doesn't mean anything to me, but I really want to see this puzzle. Hmm, it's big enough. It reminds me of the usual very popular classic metal puzzles. They most often look like nails that need to be detached, or some chains that are connected into several details and uh, they need to be split up. But here uh, this puzzle is not so simple, uh, because uh, it looks like a fish and uh, it's called a fish puzzle. What is our task? Let's figure it out. First of all, I have to understand how it all works here. It really looks like a fish. We have one, two, three, four, five, uh, five uh, rings, and there is one, uh, I don't know what to call it, and uh, the main part uh, that we're going to move. And uh, that's all, nothing more. And we need to find out everything else during the solving. Uh, let's see what do we need to do. What is our task? Well, it doesn't say anything about it. But I think I need to, well, we can read it here, but it's definitely not the language I speak. We need to disconnect uh, this basic part uh, from the fish. And let's think about how we can do that. We can assume that we have already started to solve this puzzle. We will enjoy its appearance and the sound of it as we solve uh, the puzzle. The first thing I notice is I can move this thing any way I want. And uh, I can even uh, put uh, these rings through it, uh, these round details. They come uh, through this thing and uh, the holes are enough for us. What do we have next? That's a question. I already see, you know, uh, the drawing of such a maze. Jared, be here, don't run away, watch carefully. I can already see this maze drawing in the place uh, where we need to get this thing free. Move first uh, somewhere in this direction, then go around in a circle and then and this is the only place where it can leave the edge of the maze. And we will get it out uh, through this ring. What does make it harder for us to do this? We have a ring here. And by the way, in addition to putting a ring uh, through uh, this pole, we can also put a pole uh, through the ring. Look, it fits perfectly into the central ring. What should we do next? Uh, let's try... I would like uh, to take it uh, this way. Right here. But look. We can't get it through, because it's uh, in the middle of the ring. It's difficult! And you know what? We are not able to get this ring out of here. Because uh, if uh, these uh, can move in a trajectory like this, and on the left, that's it, it's not going anywhere. I was hoping that the ring uh, themselves uh, could be moved somewhere, but unfortunately, no. So we have to think about it. Next. Uh, this looks pretty logical, so we put it uh, through the first ring, through the second ring, and it looks like uh, there's a third possible too. But will it be useful for us at all, or not? Can we try from the other side? You know, I was thinking uh, maybe it's not a multi-stage puzzle where you have to go through one ring first, uh, through the other ring. Maybe we just have to go through all the rings in some clever way and then get it out here, inside. It's not often that I come across uh, this kind of puzzle. And uh, some of you have asked me to solve this fish first. And they were right, because uh, this puzzle is really exciting. 
and at the same time it's very complicated. It not only looks good, here we also need to solve it in the way that we don't understand and that makes it more interesting. We are, as you can see, a little closer to the exit, but at the same time it looks like nothing new has happened. But I understand very clearly that my greatest enemy is the central lower ring, through which I must somehow magically squeeze our main detail. Let's think like a professional puzzle solver. I haven't done it yet today. So if it's somehow in sight and we have an exit point, let's try to think backwards. So starting at the end, we're going to think about uh, how it's supposed to go to that point. And then we're going to go backwards. We can go uh, through rings or we can get the rings through. Right? Right. So look, this is the point from which we have to go this way. And now we can turn it Ah, uh, no, we can't turn it upside down, because you can see there's a middle ring fixating us and it's just preventing this detail from going further. What should I do? How should this happen? Tell me in the comments, somehow we need to cope with this ring. Let's try this. So inside we throw this ring through, it passes uh, through and it has to go through and this one has to go through I mean below it passes what happens next then we have to put uh, this thing on this part but we are prevented by this ring theoretically it will go inside but this ring won't let it but look, we still have a few centimeters of uh, this stage here, where we can uh, just uh, lift uh, the ring up to a T-like uh, cross piece and raise our main link uh, with uh, this ring. Do I understand correctly? Yes, like this. Folks, check out my friend's channel about customization, it's worth it. Where does it get stuck? This ring has to go inside. It passes, it passes. Yeah, but am I doing it right or not? Mm, no, it doesn't work. It should work like that, but it's stuck again. But I like that we are now moving further than the first time. Let's think again. Do you know what I want to do? I want to do this. If you look now, you will understand my thinking. Look. We ran it through the ring. But if we can get this ring above our main link right now, you can see it's coming from underneath here and then it's like we need to pull the ring on it. Uh, then it will be something interesting, but for that I have to somehow go uh, through this ring, through this stage. If I go uh, through this ring, I put it down. Oh, oh, it looks like we are on the right way. And then I go up. It can be lifted again. I went uh, through the first ring. This one. I went uh, through the second ring. I'm not inside anymore. It worked. I'm not inside anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what can we do next? We have to overcome this ring now. Well, uh, does it make any sense to overcome it? Uh, we run all uh, three that are left, uh, get them through our main item on the bottom. One, two, three, uh, four is not needed yet. Uh, three. The third one. Well, folks, subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications if you haven't done it yet, because in one of the next videos I'm going to try to solve a really tasty puzzle. Don't miss out. So we have turned it over and look at what we are doing now. Look what's happening. We have already reached the bottom ring. But I don't know if it's right. 
What should we do now? I still don't understand. We reached uh, the ring and even went uh, through it. We went uh, through the whole puzzle, but it seems uh, like we did something wrong. Okay, I'm happy enough. <gasps> Why I was doing all this in such a complex way? It was really simple. <laughs> I hope you noticed how I did it. So we are on the fish. We can go through the outside at any moment. We can even go in here. But we don't have to. We have to be outside. That is to pass uh, through this ring and uh, through all the elements uh, that were before, just like that. Looks logical, but physically it is not yet possible. I mean uh, through this ring, a little bit up here, it goes perfectly, and uh, through all the entrails of the fish. And now we are releasing the main stick. Really? We did that, and it's uh, 33 minutes on the timer. Look, it's a pretty awesome puzzle. I'll tell you this, it's uh, a very good thing that you have to hold in your hands. You can't even imagine this high, this moment when you are solving a puzzle you have been really struggling with for 30 minutes. And it's packed very cool and uh, looks really amazing. Now all we have to do is uh, solve it in reverse, put it in the box and then give it to our friend to mark him. Well, that was me, Cubastic. Thank you all for watching Cubastic channel. Thank you for supporting uh, puzzle content. Thanks so much for your activity. See you very soon. Bye everyone and have a good time. Okay, that's easy, that's really easy, that's good.